Thousands of people take to Chicago's Michigan Avenue in protest of the Jewish occupation of Palestinian land and call for an end to the bloodshed in the Middle East. That massive rally today comes just hours after the deadliest single attack in the Middle East. Israeli airstrikes in Gaza City flattened three buildings and killed at least 42 people early this morning. The heavy fighting between Israel and Hamas broke out nearly a week ago. Since then, at least 180 people have been killed in Gaza and 10 in Israel. Nate Rogers attended a local rally today in support of Palestinians, and he joins us now live. Nate. That's right, Dawn and Corey. Right now, Michigan Avenue is pretty clear now, but just a few hours ago, it was indeed impassable. Organizers of today's rally say that really want Chicagoans to understand the full impact of this conflict. Michigan Avenue near Ida B. Wells on lockdown Sunday as thousands protested for the people of Palestine. Please stop the killing of kids in Gaza, taking people out of their homes in the Sheikh Jarrah, killing people at the Dome of the Rock in Palestine. This is not fair. Justice! The event was led by the Chicago chapter of the U.S. Palestinian Community Network. The crowd chanted and waved flags. Multiple ethnic groups from around the city came out in support. People are beginning to see that what is happening in Palestine is ethnic cleansing, it's apartheid, um, and it's targeted killing of civilians right now. For this mother of three, the worst part of the unrest is the number of innocent children killed, more than 55 at last count. They're supposed to be playing outside. They're having fun, enjoying with other kids. They're getting bombed on their head, you know, in their houses. This is not fair. Last week, Israel supporters held local demonstrations as well. Reacting to the protest today, here's their side. The U.S. president said that Israel has the right to defend itself and that that's what they're doing is targeting Hamas operatives in Gaza um, in order to root out the terrorist networks. Now, organizers of today, today's rally also saying the rally will not end today. They'll continue to protest every week until they see an end to injustice, an end to violence, and in their words, an end to the Israeli occupation. We're live downtown. Nate Rogers, Fox 32 News. Now, we did reach out to the Consulate General of Israel to the Midwest for a comment on today's rally. Their statement reads in part, these protests, instead of being pro-Palestinian, are de facto anti-Palestinian as Hamas made the civilian population of Gaza human shields and are directly harming Palestinian interests. Israel has the right to defend itself from a vicious terrorist organization that shoots rockets at men, women and children in Israel. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu warns there is no clear end in sight to the violence in the Gaza Strip. That is despite global efforts urging a ceasefire. We're not going to uh, just let them get away with it. Neither would you. I mean, mm -hmm. you just imagine what would have happened if uh, you had uh, 2,900 uh, rockets fired on Washington and New York and others. I think you, you would understand our position.